We're here in Beijing to meet with the recipient of the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences. Kenji Fukaya created a new math theory, what's now called the Fukaya category. It's a key to bridge different areas of geometry, such as symplectic geometry and complex geometry. On a cool autumn day in September, Kenji Fukaya rides his bike to work. It's a kind of maybe healthy, and the only problem here is in China there are too many bicycles and too many motorbikes. So it's, it's a bit dangerous, and I became a bit nervous, but uh, yeah, in general I like it, yeah. Kenji is adjusting to life in Beijing. The Japanese mathematician relocated to the mainland in 2024 to join the Yao Mathematical Sciences Center at Tsinghua University. He was hired by Yao Xingtong, the 2023 Shaw Prize laureate. I mean, academically, uh, I think this place is also very good. What they expect is just to do research and to teach students. That's something I want. Born and raised in Japan, Kenji worked in Japanese academia early in his career. Later, he left Japan to focus on his math research, rather than take on management duties at Japanese universities. In Japan, after getting older and older, then they should take some role in the administrations. So I feel that if I keep there and the increasing responsibility, then it would be hard for me to do research in the same level. So I just uh, feel better to go somewhere else. Kenji spent more than a decade at Stony Brook University in New York in the U.S. He says Chinese and American mathematics is similar. Both two countries, something very visible and uh, kind of easy to explain is more important in those two countries than in Japan. Uh, my impression is that Japanese mathematicians like to go deep, go deeper and deeper in his own uh, interest and do not uh, care so much how other mathematicians think. Kenji has a very deep passion for mathematical sciences. In mathematics, uh, something is uh, kind of we are free to think many things. Restriction is much less than other science. But finally, you have to prove it. And uh, beautiful imagination may be obstructed by the fact that uh, the statement is wrong. So you have some reality and some freedom. That's combination I like so much. Kenji is most well known for developing a new math theory, now called the Fukaya category. It's a theory of shapes in symplectic manifolds or space. Let me explain some simple case. We start with a shape that looks like a glazed sugar donut. It's a two-dimensional torus. Torus, and this is an example of a symplectic manifold. A symplectic manifold is a type of space. And then we consider Lagrangians. So typically it is uh, like this. Circle. So this is Lagrangians. And we have another Lagrangians, which looks like this. So this is also Lagrangians. And you take a third one, which is, uh, something, oops, which is something like this. These three circles are called Lagrangians. Then you consider this, uh, these points, and they are intersection points. Finally, you look up this uh, triangle, interaction of these uh, three objects, three space shapes. This is called a holomorphic triangle. Holomorphic triangle. So formula is that this, this intersections give something like a, a M2. And M2 is something like a multiplication. So in a typical way, multiplication is just two, three start, uh, two cross three is six. And this kind of multiplication is somehow appeared in this whole structure using these triangles. 
and that, that, that's called M2, and there are a branch of operation, multiplications, and the, the totality of the intersection point and multiplications, and the Lagrangians. They form in some big, big algebraic system, and that, that is Fkai Hartley. This is something like a, a tool to understand simplex geometry. Kenji was working on a math problem in gauge theory and developed the Fukaya category in 1993. Then the following year, he gave a talk about it. And Maxim Konsevich was in among the audience. And then the next year, he found that this category I proposed is uh, related to something called a uh, Milan symmetry. So that, that, that's why this, this category became famous. So Kenji and his collaborators, O, Oto, and Ono, spent the next 20 years making the Fukaya category rigorous and published an 800-page explanation of the theory. So we, we wrote that the general theory in these two books, but usually mathematics general theory itself is a bit kind of too much abstract, so you need some concrete situations you can apply this general theory. So we wrote these books to give such a concrete examples. We are in Berlin to meet with the chair of the selection committee for the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences. She says Kenji Fukaya's work has influenced many different aspects of mathematics. Hélène Ennaud has led the Mathematical Sciences Selection Committee for four years. This year, it received more than 90 nominations for the prize from around the world. And Kenji Fukaya was the most deserving of the Shaw Prize. Fukaya made a really extremely important contribution to the study of the called symplectic manifolds. He gave absolutely new tools to try, it, which are coming from algebra, which um, aim to understand the structure of those manifolds. And at the time he launched the concept, it was based on uh, shaky foundations. We didn't have yet the uh, mathematical foundations to really understand the structure. Basically, China people like the Italian lost, right? Yeah. Back in Beijing, Yuan Hong was Kenji's graduate student in the U.S. and now a colleague in the mainland. He admires Kenji. He has a lot of original ideas and a truly independent spirit. He doesn't change fashions but follow his own vision and uh, he shared a lot of great ideas which influence many areas of mathematics. Wu Haoyu is a teaching assistant for one of Kenji's courses. Wu says Kenji is one of the greatest mathematicians in the world of geometry. I create a, a piece of a world of geometry, yeah, so the creation. Not many people can do that with placing something like God to discover something, to, to really create something. Kenji hopes a new mathematical language can be useful in the future. To create something in science, people need to some notions or concepts to explain the things they are studying. So I hope that uh, some kind of concept I am studying will become kind of useful to kind of understand this, uh, to give a correct language to understand the real world. Outside of the office, Kenji likes to go home and listen to classical music and drink baiju. For this, um, Modern classical music, it's very much abstract kind of thing. So you just uh, kind of sit down, relax, it's not so. But then after, after more time, then maybe I feel more relaxed with music. He has a lifelong passion for reading. These books are from his grammar school days. So these three books are scientific fictions, which I read in my early days, like uh, maybe, maybe sometime in the middle school. While I was in elementary school, when I asked some book to buy, that's the only thing that my parents always say yes. If I want to buy something else, then they say no, but books are always okay. And so in that way, I just started reading. His two daughters and wife live in Japan. 
I know he's he's one of the like well recognized mathematician, but for me, he's more like a interesting uh, fun father. So like I have some memory that I practiced bicycle together when I was very small kid. When I go to bed, he made up his own story and I told like new fairy tale to me. Kenji is grateful to his wife for supporting his career and taking care of the children. She's kind enough so that she angry to come to the United States with me. That's a kind of big decision for her life, right, somehow. So, and she brings her children. And in the States, you know, I don't have a driver's license. Without car, it's very difficult. So my wife drives, so she did most of that kind of jobs. The Shaw Prize laureate thinks young mathematicians shouldn't chase popular problems. Rather, young people should follow their dreams. One important thing in mathematics is that uh, something which was not important became important 100 years later. So there should be somebody who found something which is a new direction that which people never imagined. So for that purpose, of course you need to be yourself. That's the Shaw Prize special 2025 for this week. Next week, we return to our regularly scheduled Pearl magazine.